I've just come back from a three-month placement at the Flood Forecasting Centre based in the Met Office. That's what I'm just going to quickly talk about since it's fresh in my mind. And at the FFC, the Flood Forecasting Centre, they do uh, sea level forecasting around the UK, uh, which compri is comprised of a tide prediction uh, added onto the um, atmospheric, the atmospheric uh, component of the sea level. So... What, what I've, so to start off with, I've sort of just defined an error to be the difference between the forecasted high water and the uh, observed high water, so ignoring any timing differences. When you do this for a certain time period, 2013 to 15, I got a 15 centimetre uh, mean error. And I sort of wanted to, one of the things I wanted to do was just find where this sort of uh, bias, this systematic, it was quite a systematic, systematic bias in all the forecast was coming from. So I had a look at the uh, tide predictions, and I, to do this I took uh, a long sort of period of Tide gauge observations at Newport, which is here, by the way, I should have said, the NP. Um, uh, and to develop a tidal prediction, you take these observations, you perform what's called a harmonic analysis um, over previous observations to generate a tide prediction for the period you want. So that harmonic analysis will con uh, consist of sort of a, a bunch of cosines and sine waves added together, but these will be built around a, a specific level, which is kind of the mean sea level for the observations that you plug in. So if we wanted to do a tide prediction for this period, um, you'd use these observations. This is a, um, a moving average, by the way, so I've sort of filtered out some of the, uh, a lot of these shorter periods, oscillations. You get this sort of mean sea level. So the level of tide predictions would be here for the period that you're looking at, when in actual fact the mean sea level is here. And this is because of this upward trend in the, in the data. This gap here is exactly 15 centimetres, which matches the mean error, and it was also uh, also explained the errors at the other ports around this uh, around the Seven Estuary as well. The second question is kind of then this is quite a fast upwards linear trend in the in the data, and it's probably I think uh, unrealistic for climate change and maybe glacial rebound and the like. So. The, the upshot of it is basically that maybe the tide gauge observations are wrong, which then leads to the tidal predictions being wrong, but then it's also difficult to validate those forecasts as well. So that's sort of where that work might move afterwards. Um, and that's it. <laughs>